car doctor here. Hey, I got a quick tip for Ford owners with the 5.4 variable valve timing engine experiencing a code P0012 or code P0022 and you may or may not exhibit engine uh, rough running condition or engine noise. Then watch this tip and uh, we're going to help keep you on the road. Camshaft position sensor and variable camshaft timing activation codes such as these along with misfire codes on one given bank usually suggest either the timing chain is off by one or more teeth or that that particular bank has low oil flow to the actuator uh, from like debris and the passages and whatnot. Uh, in the case of an engine rattle as well, it's likely either the cam phaser is damaged, uh, a timing uh, timing chain component has failed or there's a low oil flow problem to the phaser and tensioner. Before doing any repairs, you got to verify that you got good oil pressure at warm operating temperature. So here's a good starting point. Uh, you want to get the engine at normal operating temperature and then you're going to want to feed it ground uh, by back probing into the variable camshaft timing solenoid located on top of the valve cover. You want to go to the uh, affected cylinder bank uh, that's exhibiting a misfire problem if that's the case. Uh, and then so tap into the ground wire briefly. On the passenger side it's a violet and light blue wire. On the driver's side it's a dark green and orange wire. Uh, so if you tap in a ground to either solenoid and it resolves the concern, the solenoid was stuck open, either because of debris stuck in the solenoid passages or uh, because the solenoid itself had a fault. If the concern is still present at that point, unplug both solenoid connectors and now if the engine runs smooth, uh, suspect that you got a circuit problem between the solenoids and the uh, powertrain control module. You know, these solenoids should only be actuated off idle, similar to an EGR valve. If the concern is still present with the solenoids unplugged, install a lab scope if you got it with at least two channels on the camshaft position sensors located on the timing cover, one on each side of the front of the motor. Install the positive leads at the following wires. Install the negative lead to ground. So on the passenger side, the dark green wire, and on the driver's side, it's the orange wire. And then if you start the engine after that, the waveforms should be in exact sync with each other. If one waveform is even slightly out of sync with the other, either the chain is jumped, the sensor is faulty, or there's a concern with the phaser assembly. And then to rule out the sensor problem, simply swap the sensors bank to bank. If the concern follows the sensor, well then you know you got to replace that affected sensor. If the sensor is okay, you will now have to begin determining if this is a phaser concern or a timing chain problem. Well, hopefully that's enough information to get you started down this path to certain disaster with Ford uh, variable valve timing engines. Uh, but uh, hopefully that's enough to get you back on the road. If you've enjoyed the video, then just take a moment to subscribe to our channel and you'll be privileged to all the latest uploads at the Car Doctor channel. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.